think uh, we'll we'll start off the cosmic energy forecast with a uh, shantastic. So awesome. Um, I'm gonna go over to you, shantastic. Awesome. Well, this week I have that we are full of opportunities and all kinds of changes, pretty much thanks to Jupiter. Um, the first major shift will be on Tuesday, which is today, with the full moon in Leo, and it's tied closely to the uh, generosity and lucky fortune to Jupiter and. Uh, this alignment will be pretty positive, and it'll be a great time for moon work and bringing unresolved issues to a completion point within the next few weeks. I know I personally have been doing a lot of um, completion of projects and things I started right before the new year, so it's kind of been some interesting energy. Um, also on Friday, the, the sixth Jupiter will also go in retrograde back into its annual opposition with the Sun which will give us time to kind of turn inward and reconsider all our hopes and dreams. And it's really just kind of a time to think deeply on what our paths are going to be and to make sure you're doing things that really truly honor and serve you for your, your highest good. Um, release things that are no longer serving you properly, including habits, people, places you often visit. And it's just really also a chance to look at your life from a more detached point of view. Time to lose the ego and accept that others have perspectives too. And we don't need to take that personally. And just realize that life has purpose. And if you take time to fine tune your world, then your dreams and more so could then be a golden ticket to a new road to success that you haven't really thought of. And you could kind of have to detach sometimes. Um, don't worry though, because all the shifts are for the better. And something else to really keep in mind is just when the moon's in Leo, the world wants to kind of laugh out loud. Some of us like to party and express ourselves differently. And just don't let the lion inside really take over your ego. Um, I'm a Leo personally, and I know sometimes we, we get a little bit into ourselves, and we don't, we don't really mean to. Uh, it's a good time to really encourage each other to shine more brightly and to allow others to take the stage. So if you're not feeling the party side effects of the moon, it's okay. Because some different side effects will happen to other signs, and... It's also a good time to cheer yourself up in new ways, celebrate yourself, and do yourself up even for a night. Just to go out with a friend. You don't have to go out and party with a whole crew. Get away from all the drama and surround yourself with bright colors that lift your spirits. And just get your lion roar ready and enjoy the full moon because it's pretty, even though it's cold outside. And that's all I've got for my part of the energy forecast. Brilliant. <clears throat> So, thank you very much for that, Shane Tessic Shine. You and are welcome. It's uh, very interesting. There's a lot of energy going on lately. and Leo moons affect uh, a lot of people differently, so I think that's why everyone's energy is super edgy. Yes, for sure. And uh, the only advice I could say for people who are going through that is uh, try not to take everything too, too personally. Um, just hold your space, hold that energy of compassion and, and love. <laughs> um, so I'm going to go over here with the solar flare update uh, for February 3rd, 2014. Um, see, since, uh, since Friday, January 30th, we have had four different sunspots that have given a total of 14 C-class solar flares. Um, which isn't too much, but uh, during let me speed that up a little bit. During uh, January 31st, around 10:48 uh, Universal Time, Soho's webcam was shaken by some unknown unknown source, possibly a high-speed solar winds, and you can see the uh, the image. Let me reverse that a little bit. And to you can see it right here, um, you can see that just something that did affect the the webcam, and it and the webcam is uh, is uh, in line, is in between Earth and the Sun. So whatever did affect the webcam most likely might affect Earth if it uh, was solar wind. Um, but continuing on, on uh, February first, around eleven. Uh, Around 11 a.m. Universal Time, there was a visually impressive, as you can see here, a visually impressive solar flare that went off. Um, there were no reports of this uh, being Earth-directed or being uh, uh, in line to collide with Earth, so uh, I don't expect any um, 
any effects from that on Earth. However, if I can zoom this out real quick, I would like to show you a big giant corona hole that is in the sun's southern hemisphere. Um, this is actually Michael Garfield's YouTube. That was checking out. Uh, coronal hole in the southern hemisphere of Earth, and uh, it is what is affecting. Um, it's what's affecting the Earth's atmosphere. It's uh, bringing on a, a good amount of uh, aurora, or you could call them aurora borealis, which is, uh, you know, something that you see in Alaska. And once I get the correct uh, thing here. In the bottom here, you can see a, a dark spot at the bottom of the sun. That's the uh, southern hemisphere, uh, where I was talking about the coronal hole. As you can see, it's it's um, you can see it better on this one, but uh, that is creating solar winds, powerful solar winds that are affecting Earth and causing the auroras that we're seeing in Alaska right now. And uh, this is even despite the the fact that the full moon is out and the full moon is so bright. Usually, you don't see auroras during a full moon, but uh, as you see in this picture that was taken yesterday, this solar flare, or this, uh, the solar wind did, um, in fact, create an, an aurora in Alaska that was so bright, you could see it through the full moon. So that is my solar flare update for uh, February 3rd, 2015.